All right, students, so if you're adding a background for your picture and you've gotten the person and the uh, words done, notice I've on the words used some overlapping, some crazy letters, changed some things to really make it look more um, have like personality. So you're going to have to have something in the background. Now, it could have something, uh, basically, it's just wherever this is happening. So let's say we could draw a mountain scene with trees and a sun, etc. We could draw um, a cityscape with buildings, simple rectangles. We could draw um, a brick wall. And for a brick wall, by the way, you just stagger them every other. This line comes down here. So they all line up, but they go separately. And then you could have something else in the background, like a trash can on fire. All right, that's crazy. Um, so we could have different backgrounds. Now, when we do this on our main paper, we want to be able to do it easily. And what I suggest is let's say we're doing the city. So we're going to draw the sidewalk. You just draw right over top of everything. And so here we have the sidewalk. We have the road. Um, maybe we have store windows, etc. Or maybe we just have our whole city in the background. Um, and we make it like so. I really just draw right on top of my person. And maybe I have a, uh, a bird up here sitting on my letter. Okay, but I'm basically drawing just right over top so that I don't have to stop and start. And then when I've drawn it and finished, I can go back and erase it so that it goes behind my letters and behind my person. But I didn't have to figure out where all those lines go, stopping and starting. I just went ahead and drew them all the way, and then they erase what I don't need. Now let's say if you're drawing something in front of your person, Okay, you again could just draw, let's say we want to have a really big heart for some reason. Okay, and we want the heart to be in front of the person, so we erase them. And we'll erase the sidewalk. And now the heart's in front, and I've wrinkled my paper, but that's okay. And then we want the letters to be in front of the heart, so we erase the heart so that the letters go on top. And we can overlap it like so. And we've combined bunches of different levels of space. So the letters are in front, and then the heart, then the person, then the other letters, then the city. Okay? Like so. And then we can also put stuff away in the background. So think about that as you lay out your um, what's in front, which is called the foreground, what's in the middle, which is the middle ground, and what's way in the back, which is the background. Good luck. Ask me any questions you have.